So today, two things. Number one, plan out next quarter's content. Number two, delegate even more content creation. I'm actually off to coffee shop number two, Bose, which I'll get my speed test that I promised you in the last one. And then also going to be working on the content calendar for the next quarter. So last vlog I shared why we were actually going to reduce the amount of posting that we're gonna do. And now that we know the reduced posting schedule, it's time to actually figure out what the videos are going to be about. And finally, after six months, I think I talked about doing this six months ago, but now we're finally ready to actually bring someone else onto the team to start helping me with this process because as a content creator, really, the only thing you should have to do is actually make the content. And everything else, you just find someone who's better than you to help you out. After going to Chili's for lunch, yes, I went all the way around the world and I went to Chili's instead of trying something local, but in my defense, they had a really good lunch special. So we were both able to eat for just 14 bucks. And after the entire day, I pretty much just spent bouncing around coffee shops and getting more work done on our content calendar. So now I wanted to sit down and share with you our process for finding keywords and then more importantly, how to analyze the headlines that pop up when you're looking at putting together your own headlines and your own video ideas. So this isn't necessarily gonna be how to do copywriting or how to do headline stuff. I think we've done plenty of that on the channel. I'll link up to some videos below, but mostly just showing you how I analyze to figure out what headline to go with, which is the which is arguably more important than just coming up with some fancy looking headline. So let's go ahead and jump in. Number one, you need to make sure that if you are in a different country or physical location, a different country than where you want your videos to rank, then you need to use a VPN. So here, when I first go to YouTube, it will be YouTube PH. Okay, awesome, it still works. I can still watch all the videos I want, but the search results aren't going to be the same as what I want to rank. So uh, I personally use TourGuard right now, and that puts my IP address in Seattle or Texas or Atlanta, whatever they decide to do, because it's a budget solution. And then that way my results are US-based when I go to YouTube. Now, my internet is significantly slower when I do this, but it's worth it because I need those suggestions, just like you need those suggestions. There's tons of different ways people talk about doing keyword research, but at the end of the day, YouTube is going to tell you the type of content they want. And those suggestions that pop up are the best place to find video ideas and create content that people are actually looking for. I know it's frustrating because you can't see how many people are, there's, there's no usage data for how many searches on YouTube, unlike Google, but those search suggestions represent the best opportunities for creating content. So here I have two, pretty much two examples. The first one, how to build a sales funnel. And then the second one is content marketing just strategy. And so let's go ahead, jump in here. The first thing I do in looking at our content frame here is when I'm looking at the videos, I'm looking for what's the big question, what's the desired result or video unique selling proposition, and then the perceived roadblock, what's the secret gap or kind of the secret sauce that is being offered in the video title that's going to get someone to click. So going over to our search results here, the first thing I do here is try and figure out what the question is. And this, I really like this example because it's actually split. Number one, number three, and number four are all based upon how to physically build the sales funnel. Whereas number two, five, and six are about what a sales funnel is. So right off the bat, we have to make a decision. Are we making a video about how to create a sales funnel physically, like the building blocks? or are we making a video about what a sales funnel actually is? And so that's the first thing we'd have to decide here. Now, when we go over to content marketing strategy, yeah, the, the all of the titles are pretty plain and it's just, okay, we're gonna need content marketing strategy and we're probably gonna wanna put the year because we see 2019, 2019, 2019, and I thought there was another 2019. Nope, oh, 2018, so. Um, that's way old, but we probably put 2019 in here. 
And so that's gonna be a lot more straightforward than something like this. So you really wanna make sure, okay, what are people actually looking for when they type in? Apparently YouTube split. Some people don't know what a sales funnel is and other people are looking to how to actually build a sales funnel. And so that's what's most important when you're looking at these keywords and then go into, okay, if we're going to assume that people want to learn how to build a sales funnel, then what's going to entice them to click or what in these headlines is telling us something about the potential viewer? Well, the first one is free. The second, the third one is about how to build it on a budget and then the next one is using click funnels. If I scroll down here, this number seven is actually also building on a budget as well. So we have three videos in the top seven that are talking about building on a budget. So now we know that we need to help someone build a funnel, the physical actual funnel, not just describe what the heck it is. And now we know that it needs to be budget friendly. And of course the ClickFunnels video is working. It's just an outlier compared to the other ones. So I'm going to go with a title that has something to do with on a budget. So here, the first thing I would do for this particular one, it doesn't look like I need to have the keyword per se, but I am going to just because I am OCD like that and I just like having the keyword in the title. So something real simple here is how to build a sales funnel on a budget or how to build a sales funnel with WordPress complete guide. And that was actually going out on a limb, assuming someone who is making that search knows that WordPress would be cheaper than a hosted solution like ClickFunnels. So you also have to think about how far along in education is someone. Now, the only reason I do that is because number seven is talking about using WordPress. So maybe there are enough people who are interested in WordPress that this would, that this actually would have a chance of ranking and of course maybe saying something about click funnels because three oh my gosh all of these are talking about click funnels so maybe i should say something about click funnels but i wouldn't want to say anything about click funnels alternative or don't use click funnels because that would be kind of a copy of this video and i try my best not to just blatantly copy what else is already what other ideas are already here because then if it's at 153k and you just copy someone else's video that video is pretty much always going to be yours. So it's really important that, okay, they made a great video, they served the user intent, why don't you try and serve a different user intent? Because obviously not everyone is going to be attracted to this video. Some people are gonna like click funnels, some people are gonna want free, and then some people are going to get sucked into, well, I don't know what a sales funnel is. What is a sales funnel? So without uh, getting too much into rambling, that's pretty much the process you want to go through. Now with content marketing, it's a lot more straightforward. All of these have content marketing in the title, and in fact, content marketing strategy is in all but one, Neil Patel's. And then, of course, Neil Patel, he's a huge person in the space, so I'm just gonna remove him because of course he's gonna get tons of views out of the gate. And looking at these smaller channels, in order to rank, they needed to use the actual keyword. So I would do something about content marketing strategy 2019, and then I would just try something like best, or we would go and do top content marketing strategies for 2019, or I would do content marketing strategies well, I would do best for, and then I would actually put in who it's specifically for. So something like for entrepreneurs, for startups, for creators, for bloggers, for YouTubers, for Instagrammers, for business owners, whatever you want to put in there. And then just try one of those and see if it works, if it's a way to call out and segment the different people who are typing this in. Because if a business owner types in content marketing strategy and they see all of these, but then they, they're maybe, maybe I got lucky and they scroll and they see four business owners, they're much more likely to click on that one versus all of these other generic ones. And so that's really all there is to it, to figuring out how on earth to name your videos. And the awesome part is we've actually, this is actually verbatim what I did for someone on our team to show them exactly how I write the headlines. And so now they're taking it over. So if you want someone else to help you out with headline writing, then just show them this vlog because this is literally the video that I showed someone on our team and they're able to write headlines 
pretty much better than I am because they're an actual copywriter and I am decent with copywriting. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video and you're enjoying the little tidbits that I learn along the way as I figure out this whole digital nomad thing and trying to get work done with limited internet access. So hopefully we're able to fix that. But until the next, keep building the business you love.